In the first part titled Caste and College Education, Kanja Ilaya speaks of the relationship between the caste and college education. While moving to various levels of higher education, the education appeared more alien to Kanja Ilaya. The education was fundamentally Brahmanical and Anglicized. His textbooks are in the form of Brahmanical narratives, the gods, goddesses, the heroes of history etc in these textbooks came from kshatriya and brahmanical traditions dalits were discarded from the history as if they had no history at all when he joined for the ba course along with the language the content also changed the english education spoke of the classes in europe luckily the english text introduced to the writers like dickens who wrote about the poor people but on the other hand the telugu text eulogized the casteism and condemned the dalit culture in this part kanja ilaya also criticized the silence of the liberal democrats left democrats and the left radicals among the teachers he blamed that they kept mum about the caste discrimination they were even uncomfortable about the names like ilaya ellaya and malaya they considered these people are undeserving for the higher education some of them even argued that dalits deserved better living conditions but it should be given in village settings and agrarian economy both the telugu and english language did not reflect the dalit culture their knowledge and linguistic skills were invisible in this academical textbooks and other books the second session is titled brahmanical civil society the agencies of power and the institutions of civil society were full of brahmins the eating places the common market and the political and religious institutions were under the control of brahmanical power structures the names of hotels were brahmanical even the pictures of gods and goddesses hung in schools and colleges were basically upper caste goddesses or gods some of the dalit seller even pretended that they are upper class people in order to sell their products caste relations continue to operate in urban markets the socio political and religious institutions were all made for the privileged classes of people they bought urban properties with their legal and illegal money the dalit officials who somehow reached the power positions had to face the wrath of the brahmanical officialdom dalits were only told about nehru gandhi and subhash chandra bose and not about phule or ambedkar the dalit nationalist movements were removed from history thank you